kid ain't finished here yet. The cores, they remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be all right. Well, look what we have here. The memorial. Here, kid can pay respect to the old world and earn it in kind. The valediction. Just another one of my sketches. Nothing more. Words can't express what happened, but they're all I got. We tracked down a couple more cores near the edge of the city. That cinder brick fort where the marshals used to watch over the city. There's Pith Orchard, built in honor of the bull, and folks like Zolf who pray to him. No use praying to the gods these days. No time for it either. Death Orchard. Place is a dead end in more ways than one. Folks used to make pilgrimage here to pay their respects to Pith, the bull. Well, the gods are long gone now, and the Orchard Core is long gone too. Seems Pith ain't much of a watchdog. Pith stood for something once. Something real. In time, though, the bull stopped being a symbol and started being decoration. He couldn't even save his loyal subjects. Pith makes a decent scarecrow at least. Then Pith lights up like a rodeo. Ain't easy punching through his hide. Kid breaks him to bits. Must have been guarding that shrine. So what'll it be? Invoke the gods. Or tell him off. Piv. Kid decides to press his luck. Well, if the gods are alive, they must be plenty sore. Kid ain't never seen windbags that quick. Maybe old Pith put a scare in him.
Pitt's trial, and he's richer for it. The gods don't care about trinkets, but the kid ain't no god. Kid ain't found a core, but at least he found Zolf's precious shrine. Now we can build a shrine of our own, though I got some alternatives in mind. Zolf doesn't touch the thing. Says the god of commotion is no children's toy. A repeater goes with a hammer better than a box of nails. The Ura feared the gods. We turned them into toys, put their faces on our walls. Turns out those old bones still have some spark in them. That ought to make those fangs sink in nice and deep. The accused always got a fair shake in Ceylandia. Some used to take the bullhead trial. Survive the trial without taking a scratch, you'd walk away a free man. trial taught folks three things. First, a good defense is a good offense. Second, you gotta always watch your back. Third, ain't no godlike bull up there to save you.
aside and let things go. Well, a kid always wanted to compete in the bullhead trial. There's only one way to send a brick fort. The hard way. Sure, the city marshals may be gone, but now the force crawling with windbags. The calamity was mercy for normal folks. The windbags ain't so lucky. They've been left to freeze, or starve, or face the kid.
At least the marshals left the kid a parting gift. Something the windbags just can't handle. Something that'll punch clean through their greasy hides. Windbags ain't much different from normal folks. All they want's a warm place to stay and a decent meal. here in this very fort. As for the windbags, Cinderbrick gave them enough heat and metal to munch on for a while. Well, the fort ain't theirs by right. Can't blame them for wanting it, though. Sorry things hold up inside that old fort. and everything in sight with that new fangled musket. Kid stash grenades is their form if things get even worse. is playing gone haywire. Windbags gummed up the works.
burned. They trapped the kid in the middle of the fort's parade grounds. Kid shows up just as Zolf's telling me about his own journey to the city. 